Hi friends, well it has been a few months of masks and physical distancing. So let us come in terms with the reality that the masks are here to stay for quite some time, many months or even years. Let us also come in terms with the fact that the masks are not comfortable. However, when it comes to health or infectious diseases, discipline and science beats uh, the comfort left and right. For instance, compare, you know, browsing the social media feeds, uh, sitting in, in your couch in air conditioned home uh, versus high intensity interval workout. Most men don't like wearing condoms, but you know, it protects against sexually transmitted diseases like AIDS. For cyclists like us, you know, helmets are not comfortable, but it helps friends. Uh, from getting head injury. It saves lives. For condoms or helmets or masks, you know, a bit of discomfort is okay because benefits far outweigh a bit of discomfort. Getting out of your comfort zone is the key to bring discipline to your life. We need to make mask wearing a part of our life, a habit to getting comfortable with it. Well, I have realized uh, the importance of wearing masks from early on, those initial days of COVID-19 and covered several mask related videos in this channel. By the way, after 70 days of releasing this video, advising against the mask with wars, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India released an advisory against the war mask. Have a look here and also in the short notes below. My original video got over 8,000 views and shared thousands of times. I'm super delighted to have the policy impact on the original contents that I create in my channel. So keep watching and if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel by clicking this red icon right on this corner. By the way, I missed one important point in my earlier video. Masks with wars are okay for exceptional situations, friends. For example, if you are suffering from COPD or heart failure or, uh, you know, extreme chronic asthma, because usual mask greatly increases the breathing difficulties. However, if you have any of these diseases, I advise you to stay at home because this, you know, you are already at a high risk of developing COVID-19 if you venture out. By the way, many of you asked me over the email, which is the best available mask in the market these days. So this quick video is all about the masks and uh, mask accessories available in the market right now and which ones you may consider buying. So the coronal debate is never ending. Is the, this kind of you know disposable mask or reusable cotton or fabric mask which is better? Well now we have a clear answer. Fabric mask beat this kind of disposable mask left and right. If proper materials are used, a fabric mask have uh, efficiencies in par with the best possible N95 mask or even better, you know, this, this, this kind of a reusable mask is better. And much more than that, the reusable mask is really good for our planet Earth because, there is, you know, you are reusing it. You are not simply using and throwing out. And it's also good for your pocket because, you know, ultimately you are uh, washing and reusing it. You, you are minimizing the waste. So this kind of N95 mask, the expensive N95 mask or even surgical mask, no way. I'm just leaving this from today's video. Now coming to the fabric mask, my recommendation is go with any fabric mask with a, a pocket like this. You know, we have a, got a pocket here. All you have to make this fabric mask a super mask is, uh, you know, in this uh, a filter insert, instead of using a filter, which is a disposable filter, use this kind of, uh, you know, the split microfiber cloth. Well, coming to microfiber clothes, it's a matter of pride to share that the microfiber for mask making is an original idea that I released in this channel three months ago. Microfibers like this are common sense solution for filtering. They use something called Van der Waals forces, weak electrostatic adhesive forces to bind with nanoparticles like coronavirus. Microfibers are the products of nanotechnology. If you look under the electron microscope, the fibers of these microfibers are approximately 30 nanometer. And the pore size of this microfiber cloth is mere 300 nanometer in diameter, exactly like the N95 masks. On the other hand, pore size of, you know, the surgical mask or a mask like this, the cotton fabric mask without filter inserts, the pore size is in few micrometers, friends, that is thousands of nanometers. Well, pore size matters significantly because uh, especially given now that the even World Health Organization is acknowledging the fact that the coronavirus could be airborne. Well, coming to microfiber, there are two kinds, smooth or rough. Smooth microfibers like this are very, very smooth. 
you know and the fibers are really smooth and the purpose of this smooth microfiber is it's a water absorptibility makes it an extremely good towel have a look this is my travel towel and this is my cycling towel i can simply you know wipe my sweat by the way microfiber towels you are not simply wiping like this you are you know pressing like this this is the best way to remove sweat and water a caveat for this smooth microfiber is that this, the fibers are really smooth. It's not really good for mask making. For mask insert, you should use this kind of, you know, the rough microfiber clothes. Uh, it comes usually with the digital camera or other electronic gadgets. Uh, the reason is that these microfibers have got tiny nanoscale grooves. You know, that actually the grooves is a good trap for the, the dirt as well as some uh, microscopic particles including virus. And because of these uh, grooves, the surface area of this split microfiber clothes are far, far higher than uh, regular cloth or uh, even the, the smooth microfiber clothes. Well, as I told you, this usually comes with, uh, you know, digital gadgets like mobile phones and camera. But uh, remember that this, uh, you know, the spectacles usually comes with uh, another cleaning fabric. This is basically lint-free uh, synthetic material, but this is not microfiber cloth, friends. So don't use this for the mask insert. And these are quite inexpensive. Through Amazon, you can get one for 40 rupees you know but of course you have to go for a pack of 6 or 12 or even 24 uh, you know it's really good for house cleaning so microfiber clothes are my number one recommendation as a fabric mask filter insert well also mind that not all uh, cleaning microfibers are really split microfiber one good example would be milton's uh, spot zero uh, if you look at that uh, listing it says that it's for the cleaning but it's actually a smooth microfiber so uh, you know in the description product description itself they have written that uh, it's good for absorptibility yes it's good for absorptibility to clean the spill but it's not good for cleaning the surfaces or as a mask insert you know always go with the split microfiber rough microfiber clothes for the mask inserts well how how about material used for fabric mask would you go for a pure cotton mask like this or a blended polyester blended cotton mask like this well cotton is much more comfortable to the skin and uh, for general use but studies have shown that polyester is much more efficient than the cotton because the polyester is basically it's, these are plastic you see microfiber uh, clothes like these are also a kind of a plastic so polyester is much more thinner so it actually the pore size is significantly lower so without even insert this kind of polyester mask is much better than the cotton mask but as we know the polyester is not that comfortable so the mask that I'm holding is basically a blended mask with polyester plus cotton this is what I like and if you feel comfortable with cotton mask go for it well yet another option is to make a polyester mask with the innermost layer as cotton so innermost layer means the layer that touch your nose and the skin you know so for the comfort sake you can make this as the innermost layer as a, a cotton while the external layer as the uh, you know the polyester but not very challenging for a bespoke DIY do-it-yourself project or a weekend project you can do that if you have a sewing machine at home now coming to the mask shape well it's more or less a personal choice well I like simple fabric rectangular fabric mask like this with uh, the, the frills the frills will expand to cover your entire face you know this is much better for me I personally prefer this and of course this mask are blended as I told you and it's really comfortable to the skin and wearing for a long time the link is given in the description section of this video well another option is simply using the cotton mask one layer cotton mask just like this you know it's a it's a very simple solution but it's not that effective especially in uh, high risk areas well I use a combination of both of these. one is more most efficient you know the, the fa fabric mask uh, blended fabric mask with uh, uh, the filter insert where I insert the split microfiber cloth for high risk situations and general office use and this mask is for the low risk areas like driving uh, one example would be that for the cotton mask is just fine and it's always good idea to have two masks per day especially if you're living in a hot and humid areas like here in Punjab well on the other hand masks like this have this kind of contour shape this is pretty good for to fit on your face you know this is actually fitting uh, actually uh, for the, sh the, the you know the, the face because the nose is a little bit projected so that is why this contour shape and of course this is a pure cotton mask with the three layers and there is a filter insert there is a pocket uh, for putting the filter inside so of course you can use a microfiber cloth as well well somehow I don't like this kind of mask with contour shape because you know it doesn't actually fit on my uh, face perfectly well so for example if you can see that uh, you know there is a uh, uh, lot of space on the top even if I actually uh, completely stretch fit it you know you can see the space so I didn't like this uh, contour shape mask really 
well another advantage is that there is a metal clip on the nose so you can adjust it but still even after adjusting you know it doesn't fit properly on my face well maybe it works for you give it a try and see and also I noticed that this kind of mask with pure cotton uh, rather the, the fabric is a little bit thicker and it's not really easy for me to breathe so of course you have to look at it if the if the breathing is not comfortable don't wear try different kinds of mask and go the one with you know you can easily breathe in for example this mask both of these masks are really good for me to breathe in even after microfiber uh, filter insert I can easily breathe in with this mask. Uh, and this mask of course is a pure cotton mask but this without even insert I feel difficulty in breathing so uh, I my, my strong advice is never wear any mask that uh, you know aggravating your breathing condition so breathing of course breathing is the most important thing by the way if you purchase mask like this you know uh, fabric mask cotton or uh, blended fabric with a filter insert if you look at carefully inside the filter you can see at the filter and these filters are nothing but tissue paper it's a, it's useless you know the tissue paper is basically you know it's made up of a cellulose a fiber and cellulose and the cotton is all same and uh, the thickness is uh, in micrometers you know thousands ten thousands of nanometer and the pore size is virtually too big uh, for any of these particles to escape these are not really good maybe it's good if it's treated it's good for uh, you know bacterial diseases but not for the viral diseases especially for the airborne viral diseases you know so don't use this uh, tissue paper and many of uh, uh, the users who have emailed me says that they simply use a tissue paper as an insert it's of no use friends don't use tissue paper instead use some microfiber cloth the split microfiber is the best option and in case you don't have a split microfiber the best option is the second best option is a, a polyester cloth if you have any old shirt you know or any other uh, uh, textile fabric lying in your wardrobe just cut it and use it as an insert you know polyester is pretty good uh, uh, an insert rather than a tissue paper tissue paper is nothing don't use the tissue paper as a, a mask insert friends but the best option is split microfiber I'm a huge advocate of uh, split microfiber cloth for the mask inserts well nothing can beat the split microfiber in terms of pore size and the pore size is very relevant uh, because the coronavirus could be airborne disease after all well mask with ties around the head the wrap around you no know, the ties uh, normal cotton mask usually have it DIY uh, if you do that fabric mask at home you can actually make it with the ties like this uh, it's it's really good I, I personally prefer the mask with the ties another option is to go with this kind of mask with the, the the ear loop so the reason is that the ear loops actually stress and strain your ears and ears won't be that comfortable wearing for a long time but one problem with that kind of mask is that you know removal even for uh, tying up it takes some effort and frequent removal and retying is not that easy to avoid frequent uh, removal the complete uh, tying of the two cords what they do is that they simply untie only one the top cord and uh, they hang the mask below their chin friends never do that it's really risky I will shortly tell you why so to overcome the problem of the ear strain there is an ingenious solution which I recently came across this is a solution so this is nothing but a silicon band front so the silicon band has got grooves here and uh, you know it can hold the ear loop so all you have to do is uh, just keep behind and then wear it so that you know it will not actually uh, go you know the strain your ears for example I'm wearing like this and uh, I just have to put uh, the insert underneath and you know as you can see here I'm just putting like this right now you see that my ears are not being strained because it is actually on this uh, you know band is being being hauled so it's really good for prolonged use and the, another big advantage is that the, the bands you can control the, the you know the how how good is the fit so sometimes the mask doesn't fit your face well so you can adjust the fit you can adjust the strength of the the elastic strength by changing the loops in the silicon band so it's pretty good i strongly advise everybody to get this kind of band uh, in case you have a mask with a uh, you know this kind of uh, ear loop so the bands are really inexpensive i think it's around uh, 30 or 40 rupees per band you can buy through amazon uh, it's it's that simple uh, i highly recommend it's a very good life hack friends the link is in the show notes of this video by the way it's very important not to touch the front part of the mask like this guy is doing in this uh, picture so if you touch it so the, the chances that the filter uh, of the mask make it's really dangerous friends all the bacteria and viruses get traps onto the the top part even touching your hair is okay but never touch uh, the front part especially the, the part near the the nose because it has got lots of virus in it 
so uh, most probably also contains a coronavirus so touching the front part of the mask is absolutely no please avoid it unfortunately even educated people are scientifically illiterate it's very important to spread scientifically relevant message like what i'm doing in my channel all right if you're wearing mask like this uh, you know for a quite quite some time and uh, you you want to remove it uh, temporarily what we can do that so how to remove the mask never touch this area as i told you you always you know uh, remove like this uh, just touch by you know in the uh, the loop section only you know so never touch the the fabric part so how do you store it so my advice is that you know the inside part of the mask the the, the part that touch your nose should be outside and you, you know you can just fold it like this you know of course after touching the mask you have to uh, clean your uh, you know uh, of course you have to wash your hands or sanitize is really really important and it's always important to uh, the in, inside should you know the outside should be inside so inside out is extremely important and put it inside a, a you know a plastic uh, a ziploc bag like this uh, you know uh, and then close it and store it never put inside your pocket so that's really unhygienic and it's really dangerous friends so this kind of uh, uh, you know the the ziploc bags are highly recommended for storing it and the reason why you are actually putting inside out is that you know the, the the this inside side is okay it's touching your face but outside side is inside now you know because i folded in that way so the cover is not getting contaminated so the moment i'm putting my hand inside you know otherwise all hands will be contaminated with the virus so when i want to wear it again simply take it out and then you know the inside should be outside so you know this, this inside should be outside so this way i have to uh, wear it the mask you know this way i have to uh, reuse it and by the way after touching the mask I, I strongly advise you to wash your hand properly with the soap and water or use a, a proper sanitizer it's really important well other mask tips include after every two hours i usually go out in the park to remove the mask completely by touching uh, you know only the loops and uh, uh, i inhale the fresh air for two to three minutes so i suggest everybody do that you know it actually why to wear it for a very long time you really don't have to and it's always good to go out in the in the park you know outdoors once in a while it's good for your mental well-being as well as physical well-being you know sitting in front of the uh, the, the computer is not really good it, it does more harm than good for your body i have devoted a, an entire episode for how to wash the fabric mask if you haven't watched please watch it so in summary the fabric mask has to be washed uh, in a lukewarm water with liquid detergent never use uh, any powder detergent for washing this fabric mask because uh, you know especially with the microfiber inserts because the, the, the you know the uh, the uh, powder of the detergent powder has a tendency to adhere because of the van der Waals forces the microscopic nanoscopic grooves of the split microfiber clothes so uh, the fabric mask the best option is to use uh, you know the the liquid detergent you don't have to use any detol for washing it just simple liquid detergent with ample of water but make sure you rinse it very properly so that no uh, remains of the detergent comes into your uh, you know the mask uh, because when you inhale it might actually get inside your lungs so to avoid it rinse with a generous amount of water multiple times and you can dry it indoors and never use any essential oils or uh, you know the sanitizer on the mask so it actually does more harm than good for your body and remember you are wearing masks not for yourself I'm wearing masks for you you are wearing masks for me and if others around you are not wearing masks, then you are at the great danger, friends. So it's very important to sensitize why mask wearing is important to people who are uh, near to you. Just like the popular aphorism goes, my mask protects you, your mask protects me. So please encourage everybody around you to wear masks for the common good. By the way, masks are part of the, you know, etiquettes now all around the globe. Not wearing masks is not a good mannerism, friends. It's culturally inappropriate. Perhaps more serious uh, etiquette mistake is to let the mask like this to hang below your chin. Please friends, wearing no mask is still far better than abusing the mask plainly by wearing it on your chin or around your neck. Please stop doing that abuse of the plain abuse of the mask. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you like this video, please click thumbs up and share it in your groups. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking uh, the red icon on this corner. Please always wear a mask and my best wishes. See you soon in my next video.